Albert Einstein once observed that uh, you have the most fundamental and major decision that you have to make in your life is this. Do I live in a friendly or a hostile universe? Which is it? Is it a universe that is filled with hostility and anger and people wanting to hate each other and people wanting to kill each other? Is that what you see? Because when you see the world that way, that's exactly what you will create for yourself in your life. This is from great scientific mind. And the interesting thing is that this is not just a, a clever play on words, that when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. It's actually a very scientific thing, and I'm going to show you that in just a moment. <laughs> probably began um, a long time ago. My dad used to bring home snakes every once in a while from work and I'd open the box and there'd be this little ring-neck snake sitting there curled up, probably as big as a quarter looking at me and I just thought it was the coolest thing ever. Yeah, I would keep the snake for a little while as a pet until my mom made me let it go and then I would you know that would spark my interest and I'd start watching shows like Steve Excuse Irwin and Mark O'Shea on TV and I'd get more and more interested and in those shows would pretty much inspire me to get outside and explore and find more. And then after a while, you know, I was hooked. I couldn't stop. I couldn't stop looking for snakes. I loved them. I went out into the real world and I found an animal that no one wants to, anything to do with and I realized that in the real world right in front of you there are nothing like people make them out to be. My passion for snakes really inspired me to get outside you know I'm out there all the time in the sun you know I'm climbing around on rocks climbing up cliffs exploring caves always looking for the next snake Nowadays, shows on Animal Planet and Discovery Channel, like Rattlesnake Republic, you know, they glorify collecting and killing rattlesnakes. That's what I'm scared of. Now, kids these days will be watching these shows just like I used to watch, but have a totally different outcome. And with most kids sitting inside all day playing video games and not really doing much, they're never going to get the privilege to see a real snake out in the wild and have a chance to change their minds and see how beautiful they really are, just like I used to. If a child, a child, what you it goes like this. When you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. of all it makes me happy you know and that's something that not a lot of people have it's something that they get to do gets them outside they get super stoked doing it you know yeah 